Come to an easy seat on your mat. Thank you for joining me in this guiding light flow in honor of Stella Maris. Stella Maris is an organization in Cleveland supporting those of us who are struggling with substance abuse. They provide mental health services, counseling, inpatient, outpatient, 12-step recovery programs. They do good work and they do it because it's necessary, but they do it out of love. And in the midst of a global pandemic, their work is all the more real and tangible and necessary. And they continue to grow. So know that by simply even just joining me this morning, that you are doing your part to support our community and the efforts of Stella Maris. So thank you so much. And in your easy seat, come to a tall spine, not strict, not rigid, right, but lengthy. And then notice as the sits bones root down, feel a gentle lift in the heart as the shoulder blades maybe roll up towards the ears and down the spine. Recognize that this posture creates a natural lift in the heart. Right? Counter to how maybe we generally hold ourselves. Right? So just pull the breath into the front, back, and sides of the heart. And allow the chest to lift. You can imagine if there were a light there, it's shining clearly, brightly, unfettered. And then the crown of the head lifts towards the sky. And notice that as the crown of the head lifts, it's slightly moves away and back, right? Doesn't impede the shininess of the heart. It's really just a natural extension of it. And then notice where the body comes in contact with the floor. Gently breathe in and breathe out. And then notice kindly where the palms rest. Maybe they're down on your knees like mine. Maybe they're up. Maybe you have one up, one down. Maybe they're in your lap. I want you to recognize that there's not a right or a wrong way to show up with the breath and the body. What I want you to notice is that your body is fully here. We practice in community. The body's community. The big toe connected to the foot, connected to the leg knee, the hip, the torso, the shoulders, the heart, the mind, we're all connected. And just like the broader community around us, and just like our community here virtually. And it's important to recognize these quiet spaces because they are important. They do important work. So together, let's draw a deep breath in through the nose. And a big exhale out. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale. And again, inhale through the nose. 
sigh it out. On the next inhale, reach the arms above the head. And then as you exhale, you're gonna to turn to the right. Right hand will come behind you. The left hand rests on the right knee. Draw the right shoulder blade back. Feel the head lift up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna tilt your chin towards that left shoulder. All right, keep peeling the right shoulder blade back as you feel a stretch across the right side of the neck. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice, and then inhale, you're gonna unwind, reach both arms above the head. And now take that twist to the other side, left hand back, right hands on the left knee. Feel the crown of the head lift up. Feel the left shoulder blade peel back and then turn the chin towards the right shoulder. Feel both shoulders drop from the ears. Maybe even tuck the chin a little. Feel a nice stretch across the left side of the neck. And inhale, reach the arms above the head. We're gonna take it again to the right. And take the chin to the left. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale through the center. Take it to the left, right hand, left knee. Breathe in and breathe out. Through the center, inhale. And then again to the right, find that length, and then turn the chin. Inhale through the center. Last time to the left. Again, feel that length, and then turn the chin. Inhale through the center, palms to heart. In gratitude, pause for your willingness to show up, for the willingness for the community, the staff, the patients, the support system at Stella Maris to show up. We dedicate this practice to you. In yoga, we say namaste, which generally translates to the light in me sees and honors the light in you. Thank you for leading the way. Let's come to all fours, tabletop pose. If you're newer to the practice, then be new to the practice. Just move in a way that you can feel the breath. The, the pose, the posture of the body is secondary. The tabletop here, knees under hips and shoulders over wrists. See that the fingers are spread nice and wide for a strong foundation. If your wrists are sensitive or you have carpal tunnel, you can always make fists and rest on your knuckles. Uh, palms down otherwise. And then we'll drop through cat-cow, inhaling the belly lowers. And exhale, we round the back, draw the navel towards the heart, tuck the chin. And then again, inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, round and tuck. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, round and tuck. Again, dropping the belly. Exhale, round and tuck. You're gonna stay here in cat pose, walk the hands towards the knees, fingertips stay down, lift the palms up, and allow the shoulders to drop away from the mid back. Maybe even gently roll the head a little side to side and relax the jaw. We hold a lot of unnecessary tension in the jaw that we tend to ignore that then creates some headaches. So again, relax the jaw. Lower the left palm right below the nose, palm, knees, make a tripod. Inhale the right arm towards the sky and dive the right arm underneath and through, thread the needle. If your head does not rest on the ground, then maybe bring a couch cushion below you or a pillow. 
If you have blocks, you can use those too. Okay, but feel that left arm stretch forward, press the palm down and feel a stretch across that left armpit. Relax again the eyes and the jaw. And then gently draw the left palm back below the shoulder. Inhale and unwind. That right arm lifts up. Right palm replaces the left right below the nose. Inhale the left arm towards the sky. And thread the needle. Take that left arm under and through. Draw the right arm forward. Yeah, press the palm down. Allow that to be meaningful. Feel a stretch. Again, through that right armpit. Breathe in, breathe out, and then bring the right palm back below the shoulder. Inhale the left arm towards the sky. Nice. Come into a child's pose. Toes touch, the knees go wide. The wider the knees creates a little more space for the belly and the heart to drop. Right. You do you. Walk the hands forward, finger pads press down, begin to lift the palms, the forearms off the mat. Right, create a little more opening between and under your shoulder blades. Inhale. Fog up the mat as you exhale. Nice, gently lower the palms to the ground. No, you can stay here in child's pose for as long as you want. You can come back at any point in your practice. And it is a pose of rest. It's important work here. Otherwise, begin to feel the palms, the finger pads, the finger knuckles pressing down. Curl your toes under. And then slide the hips towards the sky for a downward facing dog. It's an inverted V. Know the knees can be bent pretty deeply here, especially if your hamstrings are tight and your low back is a little cranky. Right? Or you can play with straightening the legs and dropping the heels towards the ground, but know that they might not ever touch. Again, it's just about feeling your way in, allowing the body to arrive again in community, right? and allowing the breath to smooth some of those harder edges. Yeah, inhale through the nose, open the mouth, again inhale, open the mouth, deep breath in, open the mouth, nice, inhale, lift your heels up, bend your knees, look forward, and as you exhale, step maybe hop to the top of the mat. On the in-breath, hands to shins, lift halfway. Yeah, see that your hands aren't just hanging out. See that they're on something solid. Right? Allow this connection to be constructive. Heart forward, hips back. Yeah, breathe in. Exhale, fold, pull your nose towards your legs. And again, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. And a third time, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Little bend of the knees as you feel the feet root down. Inhale and rise all the way up to stand. Reach the arms above the head. Nice, catch the left wrist and take a side bend to the right. Inhale through the middle. Take a side bend to the left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe bend the knees as you go. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. All right, we'll do this two more times, this half sun salute. Inhale, rise up. Maybe just moving with your own breath cadence. To the right, take a side bend. Inhale through the middle. Take it left. Yeah, feel all those sleepy spaces begin to wake up. Inhale through the center. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, rise up, reach nice and tall. 
to the right. Inhale through the center, to the left. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. This time, high plank pose, step back. You know you can always drop your knees to the ground, but feel one long line of energy from the tailbone to the crown of the head. The palms are pressing down. Yeah, begin to feel a little more heat from the center out. Again, imagine your own little internal guiding light, your own internal lighthouse. Right, feel it from the center, feel it press forward and back. Inhale here. Exhale, gently bend the elbows straight back, lower yourself nice and easy down. Uncurl the toes and lift the heart, low cobra. Exhale, release. And again, inhale, low cobra. This time, exhale, look over the right shoulder. Inhale through the center, lower down. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, look left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, lower. Slide yourself back through a child's pose. On your way to a downward facing dog, knowing that that child's pose is always available to you. We all need a little help. You, you do you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice inhale, heels lift. Exhale to the top, step or hop. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach nice and tall. We're gonna take that side bend to the right. You're gonna pause here. Feel the right foot root down and begin to float that left leg off the ground. Yeah, begin to feel the outside of that left hip. Nice. And then little pulses right here. Yeah, let it be a little wonky. Let it be some effort mixed with some ease. Right, but notice that standing leg shifting. That's normal. Right, balance isn't the absence of movement. Balance is your ability to respond to change. Right, breathe in, breathe out. Nice, stay here, feel that left leg lift a little higher. Nice, draw the left foot through the center, reach the arms up, and we're gonna switch sides. Take that side bend to the left. This time the left leg bears the weight. Again, just like community. Right now, the right leg begins to lift off the ground. Tiny pulses, feeling that right hip engage. Yeah, and maybe you can barely even sense the leg moving. Right, Allow it to be this, this tiny but meaningful shift. Again, all these quiet parts of the body that we tend to ignore, right? allow them to wake up, right? let them them show you how important they are, right? And that we care for us, the whole package. And then stop, feel that leg lift a little higher. Nice. Draw the right foot to the ground. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, empty out. Inhale, lift halfway. Plant the hands, high plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, lift the heart, low cobra. Exhale, release, downward facing dog. Take three, maybe five breaths here, or three to five breaths getting yourself here. Reset. Yeah, lengthen the neck. Relax the jaw. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale to the top, step or hop. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach. Nice side bend. 
float the left leg just for a breath. Come back through the center. Side bend, float the right leg for a breath. Nice. Through center. Chair pose, drop the hips back. Yeah. Right, chair pose, the pose that, that pulls us in whether we like it or not. And you can imagine, right, the tailbone is like an anchor that allows the heart to lift. And then notice, can you lift the toes off the ground? Right, shift the weight to the heels. Right, keep the heart light and lifted. Keep the jaw relaxed. Breathe in. Open arm, twist to the right. Take the right arm back. Yeah, feel the heart get a little brighter here. Inhale through the center. Take the left arm back. Again, lead with the heart. Inhale through the center. Draw both arms back, interlace the hands, lift the chest, bend and fold over the legs. The belly can rest on the thighs here, or you can play with lengthening the legs. But you choose, again, these can be bent or straight, but nothing locked, nothing forced. Yeah, just drop anything unnecessary off the shoulders the brow, the top of the mind. Nice. Release the bind. Bring the hands to the shins or the floor. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold, step back. Go right into a down dog or roll through that low push-up to cobra. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Come back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale the right leg towards the sky. Three-legged dove. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Round the back leg, cat. Step the right foot forward. Low lunge. Bring the left palm to the ground and bring the right arm towards the sky. Rinse. No, you can always drop the back knee if it feels good. You choose. Breathe in. Breathe out, right palm down. Bring the left foot down about 90 degrees, so parallel to the back edge of the mat, and then you're gonna rise up to warrior two. Nice. Yeah, take the eyes over that front hand. Steady in the legs, feel the front and back feet pressing through the mat and towards one another. Create that nice, strong foundation. And keep the heart light. And then inhale, reach the arms above the head. Lengthen that front leg. Reach forward with that right hand. Bring the right hand to the right shin and the left arm towards the sky. We call this triangle pose. Again, length through the rib cage here. This pose is very organizing to that community of the body. So feel the feet press down. Feel the left arm move away from the right arm and see if you can slide the head back just a little. And then eyes to that front foot. You're going to bend the front knee as you frame the front foot. Come back to a low lunge. Lower the left knee to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Anjaneyasana. We're in a prayer twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh. The eyes drift over that right elbow. Breathe in, breathe out. And then inhale, unwind, reach the arms above the head. Hands to the ground. You're gonna float back to a three-legged dog. The right leg will lift up. Tip the hip open this time. Bend the knee, roll the ankle, spread the toes. Nice. Come to stillness. Yep, slide a little forgiveness across the right rib cage. Feel that right knee lift a little higher. As you exhale, draw the right knee to the left elbow. Take it to the right elbow. Take it to the nose. Three legged dog. Step the right foot forward. Standing splits pose, float the left leg, inhale, lift the chest, 
Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah. Maybe you lift the right hand off the ground, draw the knee and the nose a little closer together. If you really want to play with balance, you can bring the left hand off the ground as well. None of these is required, but again, just notice how the body shifts in response to change. Balance feels a lot like falling. Know that you, you are still here regardless. You can pick yourself back up. We got you. Nice. If the hands are lifted, drop the hands to the mat. Left foot meets the right. Chair pose, drop in. Open arm to the right, exhale. Inhale through the middle. Take it to the left. Inhale through the center. Draw both arms back, lift the chest. Rinse the shoulders as you fold over the legs. And again, anything that may be built up over the course of that flow, just let it go. You're not there anymore. You have one more side, but it'll be different. Nice, release the bind. Hands to the floor or shins, lift halfway. Plant the hands, float right to a down dog or roll through what we call vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog, reset. Begin again, every breath. Every breath is a chance to start over. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, keep leading with the heart. Nice. This time the left leg floats towards the sky. Yeah, find this three-legged dog. Palms press down. Feel that left heel lift a little higher. As you exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Look between the hands, low lunge. Right palm down, that left arm splits up. No, you can always drop that back knee. You don't have to, but you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, draw that left shoulder blade back. Maybe the head back, nice. And then left palm down, right foot, 90 degrees, inhale, rise up to warrior two, yeah, and then find your way here, allow yourself to settle into the strength of the pose without gripping the jaw or the brow, yeah, feel the arms extend out from the heart, breathe in, breathe out, yeah, and then come back to the legs. Yeah, feel that innate strength. Don't shy away from it. Right, notice that that strength feels a little shaky, a little uncertain. That's okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Another inhale here. And then reach the arms above the head, lengthen that front leg. And then we're going to reach that left arm forward really, really far. And then the left hand to the left shin. Or triangle pose. Yeah, the ribs are long. Feel that right rib cage spin towards the sky. And again, we'll stay here for a few breaths, just appreciating your ability to balance, to breathe through all sides of the heart. And come back to that space of community. Feel the right palm as much as you feel the bottom of the feet. Nice. And then take the eyes towards the front foot. Bring your hands to the mat. Coming into a three-legged dog. That left leg's going to float up. Tip the hip, bend the knee. Bring the left foot forward, 
Drop the right knee down, Anjaneyasana. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Prayer twist to the left. Keep feeling that left hip tuck towards midline. And coming through your center, take the eyes over the left elbow. And then unwind, reach the arms above the head. Hands to the ground, again, three-legged. That hip tips, left knee, right elbow, squeeze. Take it to the left elbow. Take it to the nose. Step forward, standing splits. Right leg lifts, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, maybe you play with balance here. Nothing required. Like I said, maybe a sense of curiosity, whether the hands are on the ground or wrapped around that standing leg. Nice. And then right foot meets the left. Bring your hands to the ground. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. This time, inhale, rise all the way up. Reach the arms nice and tall. Take that side bend to the right. Weight in the right foot. Float that left leg. Nice. And then come through the center. This time, draw the left knee towards the chest. Yeah, and then even wrap the hands around that left shin. Draw it a little higher. Feel the heart pull towards that standing leg. Shoulder blades together and back. Keep that little tilt in the heart. You can imagine a little light there leading you. Nice. And then keeping that tilt, release the left leg and slide it back, arms back as well. Yeah, again, keep that little tilt in the heart. If you're feeling it, you can even maybe bind here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice. And then little bend to that right knee as you begin to allow the left foot to come to the ground. High lunge. Reach the arms above the head. Nice. We're going to take that prayer twist to the right. Left elbow to that right thigh bone as the eyes Lift over the right elbow. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, unwind. Reach the arms above the head. Hands to the ground, three-legged dog. The right leg is going to float back. Tip the hip, bend the knee. Step the right foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, the right arm towards the sky. Right arm down, warrior two. Inhale to rise. Inhale, reach the arms above the head, lengthen that front leg. Hinge way forward, triangle pose. Left arm up as the head draws back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Eyes to that front foot. Low lunge. Drop the back knee. Anjaneyasana, inhale, reach the arms above the head. This time, bring the hands back behind you. Interlace, lead with the heart. Again, breathe in, breathe out. It's a vulnerable space to lead with the heart. But it's honest and raw. And when you lead with a heart, it allows everyone around you to do the same, right? There's no shoulds, coulds, right? It's just here I am. Right? And I'm gonna show up in all my in all my faults and in all my messiness. But I'm here. 
I'm here for you. I'm here for our community. Nice. Release the bind, reach the arms above the head. Hands to the ground. Lift that back knee up. Three-legged dog. That right leg is going to lift up and back. Tip the hip, bend the knee. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Dancing warrior or supported side plank as the left arm lifts up. Left palm down, right knee, right elbow, knee to the nose, step the right foot forward, standing split. Good work, you guys. Lift the heart, fold. If you have a balancing half moon in your practice, you can travel there. Balancing half moon, the left hip begins to spin towards the ceiling, the left arm as well. We'll meet in a forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Pause here. Maybe take the feet as wide as the hips. Maybe a little wider. Grab opposite elbows. Let the head and the shoulders hang heavy. As you breathe in, Notice that upper back. Feel it almost buoyant with the weight of whatever you don't need to carry just falling off. Come to stillness. Hands to the ground, heel toe your feet a little closer together. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach nice and tall. Take that side bend to the left. Float that right leg. And then inhale through the center without that right foot touching down. Draw the right knee towards the chest. Hands around the right shin as you draw the knee towards the body. Yeah, nice tall spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, and feel that lightness in the heart as the shoulder blades draw back and the head lifts up. Keep that sensation in the upper back. Release the right leg and the hands can stay at the chest. Maybe they float behind you. Maybe they even bind for airplane pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, steady in the breath. Don't worry about the body. If you fall out, come back. Keep the eyes steady, focused. Again, one thing not moving, just like a lighthouse. Just come back. Intention, breath, forgiveness. A little bend in that left knee. Step the right foot way back. Come into a high lunge, a crescent lunge. Reach the arms above the head. Prayer twist to the left. Right elbow, left thigh. Stay here, fire up that right leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and notice the legs, and notice the strength. Right, allow there to be a little ease in the effort. Mix them both in, relax the jaw. And then inhale, unwind, reach the arms above the head. Nice hands to the ground, three-legged dog. Take that left leg up, tip the hip, bend the knee. Step the left foot forward, low lunge. Left arm towards the sky. Left hand down. Warrior two as you rise up. Some are familiar, but 
but find that in your strength. Okay, we're stronger than we give ourselves credit for. Right, so don't shy away from that strength. Allow it to bubble up. And feel that heart lifted, light, honest. Inhale, lift the arms above the head, lengthen that front leg, hinge forward, triangle pose, reach, reach, reach. Left hand down, take the right arm towards the sky. And then eyes to the front of the mat, frame the front foot, low lunge. Drop that right knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale, reach. And then this time the arms back. Interlace the hands. And I call this the show up version of the pose. Okay, hips drop, heart lifts. And then you choose where's the head. Feel the mat below you. Use the ground as your source for strength. You don't have to hover above it. I feel the legs pull towards one another and then where's the heart? Release the bind, reach the arms above the head. Hands to the ground, three-legged dog, float that left leg up. Again, tip the hip, bend the knee, left knee, right elbow, supported side plank or dancing warrior. You can shoot that leg under and through. And head back, heart forward, right palm down, left knee, left elbow, use your core, knee to the nose, left foot forward, standing splits, right leg high, Lift the chest, exhale, fold, stay here, or play with opening to balancing half moon, tipping that right hip towards the sky, taking the right arm up. Good work. Right palm down. This time, right foot to the back of the mat. Left foot to the back of the mat. Come into high plank pose. Come into forearm plank pose. Forearms to the ground. Hands can be interlaced. Right, feel the forearms pressing the mat away. Again, buoyant in the core and the upper back. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, exhale, another deep breath in. This time lower the knees, lower the hips, lift the heart. We call this Sphinx Pose. Nice, keep that engagement of forearms to ground, curl the toes under. You're gonna lift yourself back to a forearm plank. And then inhale, lower yourself down to Sphinx. And then exhale, forearm plank. And do this a few times on your own. Lower the knees, lift the heart, inhale, Sphinx. Exhale, forearm plank. Lower yourself down. So notice how that strength and the vulnerability Two sides, same coin. You can't be all one without the other. That is exactly what you are practicing right here. And let's cycle through two more times. Last forearm plank. Lower yourself down. Lift the heart. If the hands are interlaced, Unlace them, bring the palms to the ground, see that the elbows are right under the shoulders. Draw the navel towards the tailbone. And 
and then tuck the chin. Curl the toes under, and you're gonna slide the hips back. Keep the arms forward, and come into a puppy dog pose. So the hips are higher than child's pose. And the head and the heart still drift towards the ground. Palms can be down or up. And then lower the palms down, lower the hips down, walk your hands to the right or left side of the mat. Plant right palm on left, extend through the right side body. And then walk the hands through the center. And this nice side body stretch, left palm on right. Inhale through the center. Begin to lift your heart. Bring your sits bones to the ground. Bring the legs out in front of you. And then lay the back body down. And draw your knees towards your chest. Let's start with a happy baby. So the feet are flexed, facing the ceiling. And you can reach for the big toes with your peace fingers. If doing that causes the back to lift off the ground, then don't adjust where you're reaching. You can also reach for the space behind the knees. But what's important is that your spine is on the mat. You can also reach for your shins here. Feet flexed, full spine on the ground, maybe rock a little from side to side. Another good space to check in with your jaw. And come to stillness. And draw the knees towards your chest. Forehead to knees as you breathe out. Head and shoulders down. Bring your left foot to the ground and cross the right ankle over the left knee. We call this a figure four stretch. This might be enough for you on this side. The right hand can rest on the right thigh bone just as a little reminder. Or you can bring the left knee towards the wall behind you and interlace the hands behind the left thigh bone. If this is too much, then back out. You want to see that the breath is nice and steady and that you're not harboring any sharp shooting pain. Right? Discomfort you can manage, but sharp shooting pain, that's different. So you take care of you. Breathe in. Breathe out. your left foot is off the ground, bring it back to the mat. You're going to keep the shape of the legs. We're going to enjoy a, a little twist here, but you're going to take the arms out like a T first, pressing through that left foot, lift the hips just a little so that you can scoot that left hip back as you bring that left knee and the right foot to the ground, left side of the mat. And then the left hand can rest on that right ankle and the eyes can look over the right shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, see if you can relax the glutes here. Inhale, come 
back up. Bring the right foot to the ground like windshield wipers. Drop the legs from side to side. And then stillness, right foot stays on the ground as you cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Again, this might be enough on this side. That's good, this is fine. Child's pose is also fine. Or bring the right knee towards that wall behind you. Just be where you are. And then draw the breath in a little deeper. You can feel that community of the body continuing to show up. Everything connected, nothing left behind or forgotten or ignored. Just a kind appreciation for the miracle of this community. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Gently lower the right foot to the ground. If it was up, take the arms out like a T. Lifting that right hip up just a bit. Scoot the hips to the left as the knee, the foot drop to the right. Right hand can rest on that left ankle and the eyes can drift over the left shoulder. Not too late to soften the edges. Right, so breathe in. Breathe out. back through the center. Uncross the leg, both feet to the mat, windshield wiper, knees side to side. Come to stillness, feet wide, the knees can drop to touch. Rest one palm on the heart and one on the belly. Constructive rest here. Let go of the breath. Allow the practice to just work its magic and your ability to rest easy in this compassionate space of being. Stay here or take the arms and legs out wide for full Shavasana. Stay here for as long as you can. Together we'll rest in Shavasana for about a minute. Begin to draw a little movement to the toes, to the fingers, noticing how even just these little movements send a signal to the whole body. You're working together. Here.
here, waking up. On an in-breath, reach the arms back, point the toes. And then rest on your favorite side. Pause. And then pressing yourself back to an easy seat. We'll end like we started. Rooted through the sits bones, light in the heart. Clear in the mind. Together, take a deep breath in and out. I am honored that you took your time, your space, and your bright, beautiful, compassionate heart and share that light with me. Share that light with Stella Morris. So honored to have shared this practice with you. Namaste.